Get ready to transform your Super Bowl party. Join me as I unveil a list of mouth-watering appetizers that will make you feel like the MVP. I'm going to walk you through four easy appetizers that will take your big game experience to the next level. How easy is easy, right? Well, each of these appetizers will take just a few steps to complete and will leave your guests wanting more. Start with a classic. We're going to be making sub sandwiches that will compare with any sub shop you go to. Make sure you stick around because I'm going to throw a little bit of twist on it at the end that will just make it that much better. To make our subs, we're going to be using a couple of French loaves, some oven roasted turkey, some pepperoni, some salami, some Havarti cheese, mayo, mustard, you know the works. If you've ever wondered why subs taste better from the store, it's because of the condiments. Always use way more than you should. It'll make a huge difference. Now that we've built our sandwich, it wouldn't be a sub without toasting it. So here comes our twist. Make sure you stick around because I've got three more apps that are sure to have your guests drooling. So now for the twist, we're gonna toast our sub on our Pit Boss smoker to allow that smoke to really infuse with all the cheese and the ingredients and just kind of take that flavor palette to the next level. All our subs are toasting, we're gonna to get started on our second app. Another classic that can be used for really any occasion, we're just happy to be bringing out the big guns for the big game. We are gonna be making smoked buffalo chicken dip. Follow these few simple steps and I promise you your friends will be begging for the recipe at the end of the night. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-cook our chicken. We're gonna use our Instapot with just some salt and some chicken broth to kind of get it nice and tender, make it really easy to shred. Once the chicken is finished and shredded, we're gonna add it to our cast iron with the rest of our ingredients and put it on the smoker. Now this is where the magic happens. This is where it becomes that cheesy, spicy goodness that is a crowd favorite. If you've made it this far, go ahead and smash that like button and stay tuned. I promise these next two dishes you're not gonna wanna miss. Our next dish combines spiciness and coolness all in one, which is sure to make it a fan favorite. This dish is so simple. All you're gonna do is take all these ingredients on the screen here, throw it in a blender, blend it all up, and serve. It may sound too good to be true, but I promise you it is this easy. So if you need something last minute or you just wanna go to, this is something you can bring and everyone will love. I hope you've been enjoying the video so far. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see more content like this from me. And I'm going to get ready to show y'all the final appetizer. Moment has come. I'm going to show you my absolute favorite appetizer and one that I love to share with people. Seriously, this will have all your guests asking for more. All you're going to need is a cast iron, some cooking spray, a couple blocks of cream cheese, and your favorite barbecue rub. To make it, you're going to take your cast iron, Spray it with your cooking spray, sprinkle a little bit of that barbecue rub, take your blocks of cream cheese, kind of fit them to the cast iron so that way there's no gaps. Then you're gonna spray and spread on the top. But then in about two hours, you will have the absolute best dip you've ever tasted. And there you have it, Super Bowl appetizer lineup. Whether you're cheering for your favorite team, you're going just for the food, all of these will have you feeling like a champ. Let me know which one you want to try and post it down in the comments. If you enjoy these recipes and want more simple yet out of the box recipes or meals like this, go ahead and check out this video right here. I'll show you four of the best damn tacos you've ever had in your life. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.